He's been shopping. It's not for want of trying. He's, you know, he's like someone with a heavy wallet trying to get rid of it. <laughs> right. Has he been finding anything interesting? I think the challenge is there's a lot of smaller companies that make sense. We saw the Encore deal, which he's trying to get through now for the energy division, but that's only $9 billion, which really doesn't do much to move the needle for Berkshire Hathaway anymore when you have $100 billion of cash just sitting there not earning a lot. So I think it comes down to finding a target that's large enough, and that's very difficult right now because A, stocks are expensive, B, there's a lot of competition for deals right now. Everyone has sort of a, a growth problem, so all the big companies are looking at buying each other, at becoming conglomerates or slimming down and spinning things off, so it becomes very hard for Berkshire to come in and be sort of this preferred buyer that he's used to being when there's all these companies looking at doing deals at the same time. And of course, I mean, as much as he has managers, the, the company has specific areas of expertise in, 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 in value investing as well, not just any sort of value company. He had been looking in Europe very, very um, intensely. Mm -hmm. Is he continuing to do that? You would think with the weaker euro as much as it's strengthened recently, it's, it's a lot weaker than it used to be, right. that he would, would have found something. It makes sense. I also think, though, investors are looking for sort of the splashy Berkshire deal, which would make me think of a lot of big U.S. companies, uh, maybe something in the consumer area. We actually ran a, a screen on the Bloomberg terminal a couple of months ago um, looking at companies that fit his takeover criteria from a financial perspective, you know, good returns on equity, uh, stable profits, um, att just attractive companies generally, brands that are going to be around for a long time. And we came up with names like Deer and Cummins Engine and Hershey Chocolate. So I think something maybe in that realm, something even that large is a possibility now, not just maybe a, a smaller deal or something in Europe. Well, and they are very American stocks as well, right? Yes. And he, you know, he, he, he believes loves in the that, American yeah. consumer. Exactly. On the other hand, are they, are, they, are they value stocks? Are they undervalued? It's hard. I mean, I think right now most stocks are probably expensive from an M&A standpoint. And then when you're talking about companies as large as 20, 50, 80 billion dollars, it's just expensive just on the face of it. But again, Berkshire has $100 billion of cash. If you sort of take out what he'd like to keep as a cushion for the business and for the insurance side, he probably has around $60 billion to play with. And he could, in theory, borrow money too. So I think that it sort of opens the door to a lot of deals, even stuff that may be more expensive than what he's used to paying.